Hi everybody, it's Martin Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying a small Betis or Mayfly nymph. Um, it's a sort of generic pattern that you can change the size and colours um, to suit where you're fishing. Now I'm tying a sort of cream colour version, a light, fairly light version today, um, but you could tie them in olives, you can use hair's ear for the body if it's for Mars Browns, that kind of thing. Um, it's, it's more of a sort of template pattern rather than a specific dressing. So I've got in the vise a uh, size 16 TMCO 5262 nymph hook and I've leaded it already with some 0.10 um, lead wire just about 8 turns over the thorax area and I'm running on some pale coloured thread uh, this is 8 aught uni but you can use whatever you like so for the tail and the legs I'm using I'm using a fibre from the back of a this is a, from a Brahma hen it's the whiten Brahma hen wing, it's the pro grade, it's you've got the primary feathers which make nice little blue wings but the backs the backs of the wings and the secondaries have got this lovely mottling feather uh, mottled effect. A bit slightly similar to maybe like a grouse, but a bit lighter in colour. So I've taken one of the feathers from the shoulder. It's basically a soft tackle. And Grab a few fibres, small bunch, don't count them, just a small sparse bunch, and that's going to be my tail. I'll tie the tail about the length of the abdomen. So I turn to hold it, that's fine. Should cheat that in a bit, it was a wee bit long. For my rib, I'm using just brown thread, um, I'm using 10 of it. Vivis, again adjust the thread diameter to suit what you're tying. Catch that and then tidy up, tie them the length of the thorax, the uh, length of the abdomen, sorry. Just cover everything up. Put a taper in. There you go. For the body, I'm using a uh, life cycle dubbin. This is nymph, and I'm using a uh, light K Hill or K Hill cream, sorry, is the colour of this. It's a nice dubbin. Blend this out of natural and synthetic fibres. Very good for this kind of thing. So I'm going to put on a tight, fine rope. No pills. Get it nice and even. And then I'll take it forward. Try to build a sort of tapered Tapered body, and then just come in and there's a couple of long fibres there. You can leave them if you like, but I just take them away. Um, and then I'm going to counter rib this brown thread so that you can see it quite clearly. So I full turned at the back over around the tail, and then I'll come up and four five open turns trim away my waist thorax cover is going to be some pheasant tail fibres don't be 
we show you with these thicker decent a decent bunch um, I like to use like the stuff for the bottom of the the bottom of the pheasant tail the stuff that's too short for using for a full nymph probably get 8 or 10 fibres here got to catch it in on top take it back to the just behind the like the back of the thorax. Now you could use these for legs, I sometimes do. You just you just dub the thorax, split them, fold them back. Um it's quite a nice effect. But I'm going to be using some uh some more of these whiting fibres. So I'm going to just tidy this up and then dub my thorax. You see I left the extra dubbing from the abdomen. So get that as soon as that catches you can you can tighten it up. Build yourself a nice wee thorax. You don't need to go crazy with the dubbing. You represent I mean the, the, the insect it's quite slim, so you don't want a big chunky, a big chunky fly. That's one of the problems with a lot of people. They tie, tie things, imitations of this kind of stuff far too, far too big, far too or too heavily. So now for the legs, right? I've got this feather from earlier that I use for the tail, and I've just got to come in and. Take the tip out, somewhere if we, with this, and I'll sweep it back to the, the wee chevron shape. And then, so sort of even it up so I've got a nice, a nice V with a few fibres on either side. I'm going to fold the feather so that it's on either side of the thorax. And I'm just going to pinch and loop it in. And that will give you a nice wee expression of legs on either side of the thorax. I mean, you've still got another fly in this one. Um, just come in and trim away all the waste. Tidy up a bit. And then take your thorax cover over. Two or three wraps will hold it. So again, just slide your scissor under, trim your waist away nice and tight, and you're ready to whip finish. One, two, three, plenty. Just pull the hook and pull that nice and tight. And there you go. A simple little uh, mayfly or betis nymph. You can see the dark wing case there, the light body. It's very, very effective. Um, if you wish, you can darken the back with a marker, but I, I generally don't. Um, as I say, tie them olives, browns, pale yellows, 
different sizes, just suit your fishing. So I hope that was a useful video. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to the channel. Take lines guys, bye.